Hello and welcome. Today we are gonna work on pressure disk. We are gonna complete this object from scratch. Let's begin. So we're gonna go to document. I'm gonna click the create button. Document. And I will name it pressure disk. And say OK. So the first thing we need to go to document menu and we need to make sure that workspace units are millimeter. They are supposed to be millimeter and two decimal points. If it is not, please change it. Pound to gram and two decimal point and say OK. I'm going to work on the right view. So right view, click sketch and I'm going to click the right on the cube. The first thing I'm going to use the construction line. So line tool, click the construction. And click the escape button. Now I'm going to use the line tool again. Today we will be learning and practicing revolve feature and circular pattern. So I draw a sketch entity and I'll make this one to revolve around this axis and it will give me this part. But first I need to use of course dimensions. I'm going to click the dimension tool and distance from here to axis is supposed to be 200 millimeter. Zoom out. And I'm going to click the escape button and I want them to move up. Okay, then the dimension tool, distance from here to axis should be 165 millimeter distance from here to axis will be 85 millimeter and distance from here to axis 50 millimeter okay now Dimensions from here to here supposed to be ten millimeter. And zoom distance from here to here also supposed to be ten millimeter. Distance from here to this line supposed to be fifteen millimeter. I'm going to zoom out so we can see the dimensions more clearly. And I'm going to click the escape button so I can show them more clearly. Okay, 10, 15, 200, 165, 85, 50, 10 millimeter. Okay, let's continue. Dimension 2, distance from here to here is supposed to be 10 millimeter. This two line ten millimeter and this two line is supposed to be ten millimeter. And distance from top to bottom is supposed to be seventy five millimeter. Sketch turned all black, but I have a fillet over here. So the rounded part and the dimension for that, instead of using filleting after revolving, I, I want to use the 
fill it on the sketch. So I'm going to click the sketch fill it. And I'm going to click this edge the point and the left click again. And instead of five millimeter, there should be 20 millimeter. And then I'm going to click the escape button. So let's use that one. That's the 20 millimeter. Okay. Now I'm going to click the fillet tool again. This line. Left click again. Okay, instead of 20, left click again. So that's supposed to be 30 millimeter. Hit the escape button. So I just want to show them actually. So you can see them also. Okay, as you can see, this is 20 uh, and this line is 30 um, millimeter radius arc. So what will happen, the distance between these two lines should be 10 millimeter. Okay. Sketch is complete. When we complete the sketch, click the yellow icon. And we have the fully constrained sketch. I'm going to use the revolve feature now. Click the revolve tool. And sketch. Choose the sketch. And click the revolve axis. And the revolve axis, the construction line that we draw, and should be full. And we click the OK. And let's click the isometric here. As you can see, the first part is completed. We can hide the right top and the front view so it should look like better. So, as you can see, most of the part is complete on the first sketch. Now let's make the holes. So I'm going to click left click on this part. Click the sketch. And click the top view from here. And then I'm going to use the center point circle. I'm going to draw a circle here. And click the dimension tool. Distance between these two points supposed to be 182 millimeter. And diameter of this circle 12 millimeter. So the sketch turns to black, so I'm going to click the OK, click the Extrude, and I'm going to choose this sketch entity, and I'm going to click the Remove. Instead of Blind, you should change it to Through All, and say OK. So we have the only one hole now, and we're going to use the circular pattern. Where is the circular pattern? It's here, so we're going to click here and click the circular pattern and instead of the part pattern we are going to choose the feature pattern and we are going to choose this x root x of pattern we are going to click here and we are going to choose this outer circle and instead of four there should be 16 of them we're going to click the 16 Enter. I should be equal spacing when we click OK. It is completed. And we click the isometric. It's perfect. Now, the last part, we are going to click the right click on the part one. We are going to click assign material. And here we're going to click and type it press. So we're going to choose press. Enter and say okay. It's in the morning. I'm hungry. I don't know. Can you guys hear my voice from the comes out from my stomach? It's weird, but it's almost done. I will have my breakfast. Okay. Um. Last part. 
It's fit completed, but let's make it exactly like this. So let's edit um, appearance. So right click on the part one, edit appearance, and choose, I would say this color is look like it. And say, okay, it is completed. So this is how to make a pressure disk on, on shape. Have a wonderful day.